Uh, we'll see him back in a week to recheck. Hopefully. Okay, back to Frog. Is that a pet? He is now. Oh, it's yours. The Wildlife Center just dropped him off. Alright, this is a hit by car frog. You didn't hop that. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> he lost at the game of Frogger. Um... <laughs> I try not to laugh at these things, but they make me do it. You hear it in the background. They make me do it. Yeah. All right. Uh, this guy actually is pretty intact from top to bottom. All three legs are working except this one here. Um, there's no palpable fractures. Uh, it does seem to have some innervation of feeling because that's where I gave him a shot of pain mist. Uh, anyway, this guy's doing so far so good. We're going to see how it does in the morning. I think even Dr. Griffin was excited about uh, pinning a frog's leg, and that's that's cool because, you know. <laughs> He's, look, he's talking. Ribbit, I missed. The kayer caught me. <laughs> he just caught my toe. <laughs> How far did you jump? Four feet. A big one can get four feet across, huh? Uh, you're telling me. I'm listening. I'm asking you. <laughs> it was my best, huh? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. And it's a baby little bit of new bull frog. Actually, what's funny was this time last year, we were actually going to have a, a frog race during St. Patty's Day mm -hmm. and, and a turtle race, but they ended up falling through because nobody had frogs. <laughs> but this guy's in training for next year. Yes. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to beat a frog with a broke back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, frog we're going to see how this guy does overnight. And so far, so good. Later. Never understood a single word he said, but I helped him drink his wine. <laughs> All right, we've decided to name him Jeremiah. And here Jeremiah is getting his x-rays. He's waving. Hello. Hello. All right, here's a hit by car bullfrog brought in by Wild Heart Rescue yesterday. And <laughs> he's still with us today. Still has some innovation in his back left leg. The right leg's not moving quite yet, but it's got good blood supply. Still no broken bones. If you will notice that little uh, piece of metal there on this back, I've decided that I have a little time. So we're gonna go ahead and try and fix this guy. So we're gonna put this guy under anesthesia. We're gonna put the skin in the center going to hook this to the spinal process here and to about two or three spinal processes there straighten out the spine and hopefully get this guy uh, back on his feet again it'd be kind of cool um amphibians and our uh, lower vertebrates actually have quite a bit of some excellent healing facilities and uh tendencies including the part where they can uh replace toes and and do all kinds of wonderful healing and I'm actually gonna try and bank on this I don't know why but I just feel like this guy actually deserves it um, and we will uh, give him a chance anyway so we look like today soon hopefully we'll have a line of sutures down his back still in uh, in place and over the next few days to weeks we'll see uh, a large return to function including maybe that right leg being able to move a little bit more Anyway, but uh, it's worth a try. <laughs> if you're one of those naysayers that think this is just not cool or why fix a frog, don't write, don't call, I don't care. Thank you. Bye.